Okay. What are you guys doing? We're doing number one, the mid plane extrusion in both ways. No okay, mid plane extrusion. Okay, go ahead. So the sketch was already done. All that needs to be done was the extrusion. Okay. So you choose the extrusion tool. Okay. Then you select it in both directions. Okay. And you, out, then you just hit okay. And okay, so this basically, basically creates an extrusion in front of and behind the, the object. Sketch plane. Okay. Now what if you want to take away from this? What would you do? Uh, you would select that, select the plane. Okay. You first need to create a sketch. Then you could draw what you want to extrude out of. So let's say you just draw a circle in there on, on the plane. Okay, right there. All right, now finish the sketch in the top right. Then you would choose extrude. You would uh, select the circle. Then you would go back to the extrude tool. Then you would hit in the middle of the extrude tool. No, no, right there, the, the right, window. Right, in the middle of the window. Uh, to the right, to the right. Below the, the one that's here. You would choose this. Yeah. You would choose the cut extrude. And yes, it would cut through the figure. You would hit OK. OK, now revolve it. Cut, and you would revolve. And you have a hole through your figure. OK. Put it, uh, yeah, revolve it around, completely around. OK. OK, Alt P. Very good, guys. Okay, what are we doing now, guys? We're doing the intersect file. Intersect extrusion? Intersect okay. extrusion file on the image okay. file. Okay, what, tell me what, what this does. This uh, makes an extrusion uh, from the sketch that's already been made. Okay. And it's going to uh, create some surface once we do the extrusion. Okay. Add length. Okay. Okay. So basically, you it's start off with a solid. What, what, what happens? What occurs is you start off with a solid, just as this brick. And what occurs when you hit the extrude tool, you do the intersect extrusion. What it does is only the things that are selected twice, only the surfaces that are selected twice, will be created. Tw will be created. Okay. So if I hit this. And I already selected the inch, uh, three inches, which is the height of the this rectangle, or right. this, yeah, this, uh, this cube. So when this tool goes down, it'll cut everything that's not in the tool out, and it'll keep everything in the tool. But everything that's like in the oval, right, will be will be cut out as well. Okay. Except so for, from the yellow line. So yeah. Okay. Hit okay. So then it hits okay, okay, and it keeps the preference. Okay. Nice. Good. All right. When when do you think, guys, this could be useful? Does anybody um, venture to guess? Yes. Yeah. Well, if you need to make odd shapes such as maybe the one, up there. Uh, the one that there, but also you could make shapes such as a bumper. A bumper would need a shape like that, which is also very similar to the shape of a, let's say you need an oval, but you don't just exactly need an ellipse, because they only have an ellipse tool, but they don't have an oval tool. Right. This could be very useful for creating an oval. Okay, great. Okay, I'll pee. All right, so this is extrude taper. So you're just going to extrude the square. Okay. So now he's going to taper it. And that's basically it. Okay, show, show us simple. those steps, but with this angle. Go back from the beginning. Yeah, show us from that angle there. All right, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, extrude. And then you go to more, and then you type in the measurement. Which is negative 10. Yeah. Okay. All right, now what would happen if instead of minus 10, you were to put positive 10? It would make it, instead of the square, like it's going to come out, but it's going to be larger than the square initially. What the minus 10 is doing is shrinking the square in. And I okay. need 10 degrees. Um, 
Okay, so go ahead and do that. If, see what if happens. you did a plus 10, it would be the same exact figure, but shift thread in the other direction. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Re revolve it. Revolve it and see if it's true. Revolve it more. more. Okay, do a top view. No, no. <laughs> yeah, revolve it again. Try to try to make it look like the. If you hit F four, you can uh, remove move no hold F four sorry hold F four and then just move drag around. Yeah. Okay. Does that look guys like minus ten but uh, the opposite like a mirror image? Yeah. 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 Except yeah. it's bigger. Okay. Okay. When do you feel when do you feel this might be useful? Um, like let's say uh, a good example would be like an ice cube. Like, uh, an ice cube is a very good example because, you know, an ice cube, like, uh, you're not probably not going to make many ice cubes on Inventor, but, you know, yeah. if you were to make something similar to that, it's a good, it's a good tool to use, you know, because you don't have to go and make an, a separate square and try to, like, attach them. You can just, yeah. I, I like kind of see these figures. I kind of see this here. Yeah, yeah, right. It's housing for furniture or something. Like that. Right. And not only that, but... You know, the Volvo, the Volvo the engine. Volvo battery, yeah. Well, the engine itself, it actually rests on these uh, really thick rubber stoppers, believe it or not. And those rubber stoppers are in the sh shape of these. What, what the Volvo, one of the reasons the Volvo is such a safe car is when you have a collision head on, it's designed for the motor to drop to the floor so that if you were, if your chest were to hit the dash, the weight of the engine doesn't come at you. Uh, remember momentum, right? Mm -hmm. Momentum is not only velocity, but also mass. So what happens is the engine drops, and what will happen is if you're lucky, if you're, if you're not wearing a belt, oh, I don't know why anyone wouldn't be, but if you're not wearing a belt, um, and you, your chest hits the dash, hopefully this thing will make the engine drop to the floor, before your chest hits the dash, and it'll be way, way, way less weight than if you were to hit the dash with the with the motor. So, yeah, if you look at how the engine in a Volvo is placed inside the housing, you'll see four thick, really thick stoppers that are kind of shaped like this. Okay, go ahead and pause it. Okay, go. Our uh, number was four, and it's pushing. The file is pushing. Our opening. What does up pushing mean? Bushing allows you to rotate an object that you've created, and it'll continuously rotate at 360 degrees on a okay. fixed axis. Okay. In this case, it's rotating on the y axis. Okay. Well, what you do is you hit revolve, and you just click on your axis, and then it'll revolve the object 360 times. And you hit OK. Okay. You're done. Now, what if you don't want to do a complete revolution? How would you do that? All right. Yeah. Um. You'd have to do is, you'd have to per, like draw the object so that you'd have to type in the exact measurement that you'd want to. Okay. Revolve. So let's say two hundred and seventy degrees. Now, what if I want um, there, I just want to manually do different, uh, I want to see different uh, rotations. Rotations. Yeah, how they look. Like a continuous there should be an arrow that pops up. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Okay. Angle 270. See the arrow down there? Bottom right. Up to the right, right. Right, no, right, right. To the right, right, right. Drift. Right there. Oh. Yeah. Go to the right. Okay. All right. Now get out of there. Hit OK. How do you get back to that angle? That angle? So how, do, how do you get back to that arrow? Oh. Um. You go to click on the revolution over there on the left. Right 
Alright, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. You just decided to put it into it. Okay, yeah. what are you guys doing today? We're doing the uh, drilled holes. Okay. That can be found in the inventor file. In the inventor file folder. Okay. And first, what you're going to do, you're going to have to go to a hole, and you're going to have to drill a hole in the uh, desired location. Okay. And you have to turn, drill different types of holes. Okay. This is the second one. This hole allows for like regular screws that you want to be flush with the oh. surface that you want. Okay, good. Was it applying into all of them? Okay. It's applying into all, right, all of them. Cancel, cancel. Okay. Try. Okay. Alright, cancel. Yeah, so it allows the like Screws that have wider heads, mm. it allows it to be remain flush with the object that you're doing. You can just you All can right, do yeah. three. That's fine. Right, three. This, this one allows for like a flatter head mm. rather than the, the deeper one that the other okay. one had. Now, how would how do I know, Zane? that this hole has gone all the way through the object? Um, because when it's telling you um, on the hole here, it tells you that it's already gone all the way through the object, it, and you just have to set the different dimensions for the, um, the length and Alright, hit OK, and rotate the object. Where's my solid object? I, I don't see a solid there. Are you using a material that's yeah. really light? It's, it's, it's the material. It's, here, I can show you. It allows you to be able to see inside of the screw hole. So, yeah, so, see what you're doing. So, with so yeah, in case you have a threaded screw, yeah, right, you can right. see the threading on the screw. What, what material is that? Lexan. Uh, Lexan. Lexan. Okay. And if you go to black, like here, you'll see the holes better. Like a puck, right? Yeah. yeah okay, go, go to the other side. This tool also allows, like, you can make your, your holes threaded for threaded screws rather than right. just a straight, smooth hole. Okay. Now, you know, some people's, people sometimes forget just how important uh, something like this is, okay? When you're, say you've got a boat, and the boat is on a trailer, right? The trailer's got wheels. The wheels have what? Ball bearings. The ball bearings are housed in something like this. If you forget to lubricate the ball bearings on a trailer, because the trailer is going in and out of the salt water all the time, you, you forget to lubricate it. Guess what, guys? You're going. Your boat's going to be going one way. The trailer's going to go be going the other way, and your truck's going to be going a third way, right? Guys, something as simple as this, something as small as this, okay, the size of a puck that holds little ball bearings inside can can really do some right. major damage on the highway. Okay, you got, I'm sorry? Teflon is what we use to keep the salt water on. Okay, Teflon is WD better than marine yeah. grease? Yeah, it's like WD-40, but like marine. Okay. So guys, always remember, I mean, I know most of you guys are into jet skiing and boating and all that. You know, make sure that the ball bearings in your trailer are always lubricated with uh, grease that, <clears throat> that repels salt water, right? Right. I'm talking from experience. Okay. All right, hold feet. So I am doing the loft tool. Yeah. The loft tool allows you to take different shapes and extrude them together to create a unique shape. Okay. Kind of lets you do a sweep, right? Kind From of. One yeah. to the other to the other. It lets you link up different shaped objects. Okay. And you have to select the different geometries that you want to link together. So I'll select the first one. And it kind of goes with the different objects mm -hmm. that you've selected, as you can see up here. And you can do as many as you want. Just keep going okay. to create different shapes. 
Okay. Okay. What is the purpose of those planes there? Uh, it's the planes that the different geometric shapes lie on. So the circles lying on this plane here, mm -hmm. and the different uh, polygons lie on this plane here. But they're offset, obviously. Yeah, they're different planes. Okay. And All this right. allows you to keep that sweeping motion. Okay. Um, go back to that window. Yeah. No, back. Just slide it. Yeah, right there. Okay, then click left right there. Okay, um, is there any way of getting rid of those uh, planes and just do uh, a loft without those planes? You know, is there any way I can, is there any way of seeing the figure and with those planes removed? You mean after you do it, the, yeah, you those. delete the planes. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Visibility? Yeah. 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 Okay. I'm, I'm glad we went over this. Good point. Whenever you want to, if an if object is dependent on a plane, you don't want to delete the plane. You just want to make it a binary. You delete the plane and it doesn't have anything. It alters the, it alters the audience. Yeah. yeah. It puts it all on one plane. Right. Okay, so it does, it does this, this can be very useful, guys, right? This can be very useful because sometimes you want to do, I mean, for lack of a better term here, you want to do a quote unquote extrusion, but you want to do it from one object to another, okay? Kind you want of it to like. change shapes well, through the extrusion. Exactly. Okay, notice yeah, how. Like a cool yeah, like a golf club, exactly, exactly. That that's kind of looking like a what, like like a putter, right? It's the head of the putter. Yeah, if you wanted to. Uh, like that would be like the shaft of the golf club, and this would be the head. If you ask me, it looks like one of those uh, elf shoes. <laughs> elf shoes, okay. Okay, interesting observation there, Pesh. Yeah, okay, looks like we're in the holiday mood, right? Elf shoes. In the holiday mood. Like, uh, Maybe as you for Christmas. Mr. Morrow. What are those speakers that like, hold on like that? So what we're doing in this one is the rectangular pattern when you're already, um, there's already an extrusion in the sketch. Okay. So it's when it's actually an object, not when it's just a sketch. Okay. It can be found in the inventor files folder. Thank you. What the name? Rectangular pattern. So what you're going to go do is you're going to go to the rectangular pattern button. No. Yeah, there you go. You're going to go to the rectangular pattern button. And you're going to um, select your piece, and then okay. you're going to go, and you're going to pick a direction. A switch direction. Yeah, I go. You can pull the arrow back up here. Yeah, you go. Switch. Yeah, there you go. And then you want to change it to six because that's what the um, assignment requires. Okay. Which direction? Four, four, four. Try four. Okay. And that allows you to extrude it while you already have a um, object. Okay. Okay. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Okay. Now, I can see some uses for this, right? Okay. Um, it saves a lot of time. Does not only that, but uh, like, let's say that you want to create. You know, sometimes we have to build things out of Legos in order to be able to. 
kind of visualize something a little more com complex. Well, you different. may, if you want to do an animation with the Legos and with the different colors and all that, you can maybe do something like this at the same time. Right. You know, create your pieces and then just keep on using those parts over and over again, right? Yeah. Okay. Another thing that I can find use for this is um, a tire company. When they're creating the tread for a rubber tire or something, right. you, you know, maybe yeah. there's a design that you like and you want to stamp that design every every so often yeah, you can do that with this. on the strip or something. Okay, I'll be. Okay, what are you guys doing here, you guys? All right, we're making a pattern along the path. Okay. So this object is already extruded and... There's a... There's, there's already, already something that you want to create we a pattern yeah, off. off the, yes, we to create a pattern off that. So you use the pattern way. The rectangular pattern. Then you select the object you want to pattern. Direction one. How is this different from what we did? It, it's very different. Uh, I could curve, curve this, and uh, yeah. that's what took us a long, such a long time yesterday to complete it because didn't bother to look down here and see that little arrow right there. Okay. Thirteen times. Okay. Ah. Okay. The pattern. This can be useful for something like a conveyor belt. Or yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Okay. All P. Very good, guys. All P. Okay, what are you guys doing? Uh, uh, we're tray. doing a shell. Yep, the we're doing a shell using the shell tool shell. Uh, with the lunch tray and the inventor, the inventor files. files. Okay. Okay, so there's your lunch there's tray. Our basic lunch tray. And uh, what we're going to do is flip, it, flip the view to the underside of the tray. Okay, so now that part doesn't look like a lunch tray, right? Right. right. And right. so what you're going to do is you need to do the shell tool that's right next to the right fillet here, yeah. button. And what you're going to do is you're going to click the underside of the tray. The underside. And then what you can do is change the thickness on the shell, uh, whatever you call that, mm -hmm. to three, uh, no, well, point three. No, no, no. One, two, five. One, two, five. Point, point three. Point three, one, two, five. Yeah, you can't, can't forget that. And then hit OK. Mm, takes, takes a little a while, while to load. Yeah. And there you go. OK, rotate it. Let's see. Well, what was the button, F4? F4, and just rotate that. Rotate that sucker. Okay. Oh, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Go back. Go back. Go back where? Go, go back. Where's the circular? That's supposed to know. The circle. That's the the circle's not all the way indented. The circle's indented to the. Uh, yeah. Okay. It, uh, it doesn't reach down. You see, it ends right there. Yeah. Okay, so the circle's not supposed to appear? No, it, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's only really indented good. on the top part. Oh, okay. The, what, the thickness is too, like, too much for you to be able to tell. Okay, so size. when would you use a tool like this? Well, you know, Give me an example. Real world lunch. example, guys. Well, I mean, lunch tray. <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> other than the lunch tray, when See, would save plastic on the yeah, lunch tray? Yeah, plastic. if you want to save plastic on something, you can get rid of unnecessary. And you can stack them easier. Yeah. Okay. Stack them. Oh, okay. Stack so yeah. Items. Yeah. There you stack go. Items. Yeah, exactly. This is easier to stack, right? Yeah. Because yeah. they fit right into each other. Okay. So that's it. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. All, all P. P.